Ain't nobody got time for a dirty vapor fly. Ain't nobody got time for a dirty vapor fly. Unboxing. Ten K time trial. One mile time trial. And the trail test. It's time to clean. All right, these shoes are not cheap. You guys know, if you're a runner out there and you've been investigating fast road racing shoes, you know that this shoe is at the top of the line right now. But you almost got to take out a third mortgage on your house for this shoe. It's not, it is not cheap. And therefore, I am a trail runner. I do not really care if my shoes are that dirty. However, this shoe... This shoe, the Nike Vaporfly 4% fly knit, should not be dirty. We want to keep these shoes clean for race day. And I actually think, this is crazy, kind of side story. I actually think, mentally, if you arrive at the starting line of a race and you're mentally feeling good, which means you're looking good. Right? Like if we have a nice singlet on, your favorite socks, like I know I have my favorite socks for race day. I know you do too, YouTube. I don't, don't lie to me. I know, it's, I love a good pair of racing socks and a good, clean, fresh, as fresh as possible pair of racing shoes. So I don't want to show up to the starting line with these, you know, vapor flies full of mud. And I know this is crazy, but mentally, I think it's actually important to show up at places, you know, if you're going for a job interview, you're not going to show up, you know, with your tie, like half tied, like you're going to show up looking sharp. Step number one, I don't see many people do this when they're cleaning their shoes. You've got to take the shoelaces out and then you put the shoelaces in a separate cup with some Dawn dish soap. I'll get to that in a minute. And basically you swish it around, clean those shoelaces. <laughs> Wish it around, clean those shoelaces, and then, you know, hang them up to dry. Second step after you take the shoelaces out is start working on the upper. So the upper is what wraps around the top of your foot. And for the fly knit, I definitely had some mud land on it yesterday out on the trails. And so you want to gently, and then the key word is gently, brush off. Maybe, you know, let that mud dry just a little bit so you're not smearing it into the into the fabric, basically. And so just gently brush off the dirt, brush off the mud. And then with some cold Dawn dish soap water, dab, dab the spot where the mud is at, dab first, and then slowly start brushing off as much as you can. The key is it's gotta be cold water, you gotta dab, and it's gotta be Dawn dish soap. You will not regret it, Dawn dish soap. It's, it's amazing what this soap can get out. The third step, if you're really, really, really particular about your shoe and making sure it's clean at the starting line is pull the insole out. And yes, get your vacuum out. I'm serious. Like, you don't want little rocks or tiny little particles in your shoe on race day. You know, like, blisters can start from anything. It's crazy. I've seen some crazy feet after races because of a tiny, tiny, tiny little rock that was under the insert in their shoe. And then as the race progressed, the rock came out and started rubbing on their toes or what have, or their heel. It gets ugly quick. Step four, get a brush and again, clean, cold Dawn dish soap water and start slowly brushing that dirt off the side of the shoe. Start on the uh, from the upper, work down to the sides of the shoe and the toe and the heel. And once the mud and the grime and the dirt is worked off the side of the shoe, start working your way down to the outsoles, the bottom of the shoe. So on the vapor fly, you're gonna, it's gonna be actually pretty easy because it's very flat surface. There's not there's no lug action on the bottom of these vapor flies. So just start again, start brushing off this dirt, making sure that the dirt and mud does, doesn't fly up into the fly knit upper, or else then you're just creating more problems. Fifth and final step, 
dry everything off with a clean towel and I like to use like a white towel because I can see that the white towel like is pulling dirt off of the shoe so just again start with dabbing first and then start wiping and voila now you have a beautiful clean Nike Vaporfly 4% fly knit ready to rock and roll on race day. Does that make sense? Question of the day. Do you have Nike Vapor Flies? What do you think of the shoe? How do you like the shoe? A lot of people are watching these videos and I know you're probably like, wow, this guy's really obsessed with his Nike Vapor Flies. I get it. I get it. But I love it. I just love the shoe. And I ran really fast in them last week in that 10K time trial. Go check it out. That's why, part of the reason why I love these shoes. So thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. And that ends today's, uh, today's cleaning episode of life. And if you want to see more Nike Vaporfly action and running videos and running stories and training videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. We publish running videos a lot here. A lot. Love you guys. Thanks for being here. All right. See you tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Daily vlog. Come back.